Virginia Beach residents say this little oasis off Great Neck Road could soon go away. We've always been welcome here by the church to cross through, to play at the playgrounds, even to enjoy the outdoor sanctuary that they have. Neighbors tell me the plan is to have six houses built on current land, fill in this lake here, and build six more. We don't object to the, uh, the church trying to sell its asset, which is unused land. We don't believe that any wetlands sh should be filled in so someone can create more land to build houses. They're concerned not only about losing green space that families enjoy, but also potential flooding. If the lake is gone, what will happen when the water rushes into drains along Great Neck Road? Would it go down street? Would it go into my neighborhood, in my house, in my yard? To help you visualize, neighbors tell me once water is drained at Great Neck Road, it goes into this small lake. Then it flows across this concrete slab and into a larger lake that leads into the neighborhood. The pastor of Wycliffe Church sent me this statement saying, we love our neighbors and we look forward to continuing our Christian mission to the community we love well into the future. In order to do that, we find it necessary to sell a portion of our property that is a great expense to the church. Our focus has been and will remain serving our community and God. Neighbors say the developer is Bouchard Homes. I reached out to them but have not heard back. The president of the Great Neck Estates Civic League would love the city to have considered building a park here and he hopes it's not too late to save the wetlands. There's a lot of uncertainties here and I'd like the city to be able to stop and consider not what we're doing but why are we doing it and have we considered all of our options. Are there other options out there that would be better for the community, better for the neighborhood, and better for the land that we are trying to keep green. The Virginia Beach Planning Commission is meeting Wednesday at noon, and this is one of the items on the agenda. And that meeting is open to the public. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3. They actually heard our voices and they responded accordingly. Neighbors are feeling victorious. It was one of the most empowering moments I've ever been a part of to have all the community show their support. More than 20 people went before the Virginia Beach Planning Commission fighting to protect this little oasis tucked away in Great Neck. The Planning Commission voted six to four <laughs> not to recommend this project as it stands. And here's what neighbors say developers' plans would entail. Building six houses on current land near Great Neck Road, filling in the small lake, and building six more. The pastor of Wycliffe Church tells me they do want to sell unused land because of financial reasons, and neighbors are understanding of that, but they are concerned about preserving wetlands and having potential flooding. You can see here on Great Neck Road, there is a drain. The water then flows here into a system of small lakes. This video given to us by a neighbor shows water moving from last week's rainy Friday. This is a natural watershed, and although it may not be tidal, it serves a huge purpose in drainage for this entire area. Residents have started a petition which has about 2,500 signatures. This vote, whether it passes, really comes down to city council. So we need our representatives to earn our votes because the budget and stormwater control is, is a big issue for this area. And this matter is tentatively scheduled to go before City Council next month. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3.